So the brief for this book, I think it was to basically choose one of the selection of briefs. One of them was to illustrate an existing text and another one was to make a newspaper that kind of told a story that you think needs to be told. So I kind of took both of those and I turned it into one. So I wrote my own text and it's all about, it's effectively like a magazine guidebook for these endangered birds. So yeah, I don't think, I don't think anyone's really heard of these birds really. I mean, I looked it up children's books, like I haven't found other ones that use a kagi. So I thought it's quite interesting. It's just got a little intro and it has a little imaginary art directing, whatever he is, what conservation officer, that's he. <laughs> Um, oh, with a French name because they are actually in the territory of France, which is New Caledonia. So this one kind of just tells us the story, how it all is. They basically, um, they always were in New Caledonia and then humans came along, ruined their environment and now they're like on the decline. So that's pretty much why I made this because I think some charities are starting to try and help them. So this is a little forest map. Uh, designed to help the Kargus find the best place to live because they live on forest floors. This is how to uh, how to recognize their habitat effectively and it also it teaches people about the plants as well and everything involved like it goes through a bit of education. This is all about their diet, how they only eat living animal creatures like insects so that's interesting. This is how to keep their territory because they're very territorial birds like there's not many of them and they like to they like to live in quite a large area. These are predators that they have to avoid that actually humans brought. So this kind of brings awareness to like the unnatural predators. This is how they should intimidate their predators. <laughs> They're expected to puff up their chest, tuck in their beak, bark, because they actually make dog noises. Um, to floof their head feathers and to show the stripes on their underwings. Um, oh, and flirting advice. They had to go on to that because obviously if they're endangered, they have to find other cargues to have baby cargues so that they're not going to be endangered anymore. I just find it genuinely interesting. So that's what I make books about. It's just stuff that I like. Building your nest, how they, how they build their nest on the floor. And a parenting guide because I guess once they're trying to raise their baby cargues to avoid con extinction, they've got to know how to do it right. That's decent. And yeah, just that's that one.